Today I'm going to show you guys how to not only install but also what you need to run a Python script in DaVinci Resolve. For those of you guys that don't know, a Python script, DaVinci Resolve can use both Python and Lua, not to get into too much detail, but most people that make scripts make them in Lua or something so it's easy to just double click and install for Python. There's a little bit of another step that you might have to do and I am going to, of course, show you guys right now. First thing, you will want to go to the Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve folder. Not just anywhere, though. You will want to go to the C drive or wherever it is located for you guys. Wherever, you know, your... DaVinci Resolve is installed, whether it be studio or free. You want to click on users, click on the user that it's installed on. And then after that, you will want to go up here to view. If um, you have the option, then check hidden item. So it shows hidden items. Then click app data, click roaming, click black magic design, click DaVinci Resolve, click support, then click fusion. After you go to fusion, go to scripts. And technically you can play around with putting them in these folders, see which one works the best for you. Um, this is for deliver, whatnot, color, but mostly if it's just a in general script, utility will usually work best. But that's not all. You're not done yet. There is another step that you may need to do because if you restart DaVinci Resolve, you will see that the script might not even show up. So what you then do, it's a simple fix, mind you. You just go to workspace and then go to console right here above scripts. And you can collect Python PY2 or PY3, that stands for Python. And then there will, for me, it won't show up because I have it installed, but it should say something like, we detected you don't have Python installed. Click here to install it. And then you click, it takes you to the website, which looks something like this. In fact, this is the website. I'll just leave it in the link in the description below to make it easier for you guys. Then you just download it, install it, then restart DaVinci Resolve. And after you restarted, you should be able to go to Workplace, Workspace rather, and then under Scripts, you should see your script or scripts that you installed. So that's how that works with that. So if your Python script, again, if it ends in extension dot py, it's a Python script, the venture resolve can run it, but you need to have Python installed in your computer in some cases. This was the case for me with DaVinci Resolve 19. It could not be the case for some of you guys in the future, but I just thought I'd make this video to hopefully save some of you guys the hassle of like, oh, this script doesn't work, this isn't working, what am I doing wrong? 
hopefully this helps you guys and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later